Hi, welcome to today's digital yacht video on our brand new Nav Doctor product. So Nav Doctor is an NMEA 2000 diagnostic and testing tool um, based on our NavLink wireless gateway. So it features the same enclosure and also the same integrated uh, NMEA 2000 um, drop cable. And uh, what Nav Doctor does is it allows any uh, NMEA uh, dealer or technician to go onto a boat uh, find a spare NMEA 2000 connection and plug it in and start uh, analysing the devices and data that are on the network. Um, so it does that by creating a wireless network um, and then you connect to that wireless network and using a browser you can bring up the uh, NavDoctor web pages. So here's the, the home page that you get when you go to navdoctor.local and you can see we've got uh, a number of different functions so let's start with the devices so this lists all the devices that are currently on the network so as you can see here we've got some garmin units Lowrance, and some, obviously some digital yacht products as well um, it gives you the address of the unit um, the nav doctor always takes the address 250 at the top end of the the network so it doesn't disrupt or try and take any of the addresses that the other devices are using um, and if you want to know more about a particular device, you can click on the I icon at the end of the line, and then it tells you about the product, uh, it gives you all of the NMEA 2000 information about it. And also, if it's got configuration info stored, it will also bring up the configuration info as well. So, and you get that on all the different devices that are there, and you can sort by manufacturer, by address, um, if you add a new device, you can just click the refresh button at the bottom there, and it will uh, add the new device to the to the list. So that's the device list. If we go back to the home page, um, alternatively, you can also use this quick uh, menu option at the option uh, here, which lets you go directly to a page without having to go back through the the home page. But let's have a look at the PGN list. So this is a list of all the PGNs that are currently being transmitted on the network. Um, it gives you the, the source address um, of the device that's sending the message. It also gives you the destination address. Normally that would be 255, which is the global address, which means uh, that PGN will be received by all products. But uh, you will sometimes find a, um, an addressed PGN like this one here. So uh, can address device on can address 5 is trying to talk to the uh, nav doctor for an ISO request. And that's just a, being addressed directly to the nav doctor. So those are all the, the PGNs. You get the PGN number, which you can sort by. Then also the description of the PGN. And at the end here, you've got the timestamp. So that just gives you the time in seconds of the next update. Um, and if we go, for instance, say we wanted to have a look at the uh, vessel heading, we can click on the information icon at the end of the line. And it gives you then a list of all the fields in that particular PGN. It gives you the values and also the uh, the units of measure that are being used. So you can do that for all the different PGNs that are there listed. Next, we're going to have a quick look at the uh, view data or the raw data page. So this really, uh, this page just shows you the amount of data that's coming off the network, but the key thing for this page is that you can um, actually log this data um, and then save it to a log file and that log file can be zipped up and emailed to us and we can uh, if you've got a particularly knotty NMEA 2000 networking problem we can take a look at that log file for you and hopefully help you uh, get to the bottom of what's causing the problem. So that's that. So the next feature of, of NavDoctor that we're going to look at is the health check. So this is a very uh, simple but effective check of the health of the NMEA 2000 network. So you can see here the supply voltage um, to the network and if I just tweak the voltage on my power supply you'll see that will start to increase and it goes up once it goes up to 16 volts which is the maximum uh, it goes into orange um, and then back down again and if you want to know anything about the, the supply voltage what values it should have you just click on the a question mark symbol and then it tells you the limits of the supply voltage 9 to 16 volts um, you've got bus load here this is a percentage so at the moment there's not an awful lot of bandwidth being used up with all the PGNs 
on the network, only about 4%. Um, but you'll see that fluctuate as devices come onto the bus and start sending more and more data. Right, the next two are the dominant voltage and the recessive voltage. So an NMEA 2000 uses differential voltages on the on the two data lines. And so this measures the maximum uh, differential voltage and the minimum differential voltage, which both have to be within a certain range. And you can click again onto the question mark if you want to just check what that range is. So that tells you the number of devices on the the network and also and this is a very important one the error frames so quite often if you've got a, a bad connection on the NMA 2000 network um, maybe a, a t-piece that's broken or a, a cable with a short or an open circuit in it then you will see a series of error frames being generated and this device will actually count that and in fact now this is bound to go wrong because it always does with a live demonstration but i'll just now start to short the the thing the uh, two lines together and hopefully you will see um there we go we start to see the error frames counting up as i short the two pins together and if the number of error frames increases and out numbers the number of good frames then you get uh, a serious network error uh, fault has occurred a warning coming up then you can go in you can if you see this you really need to look at all the connections try and place cables or whatever until you think you've fixed the problem and then you can click the reset button and the device will go back onto the NMEA 2000 network and you can run the health check again and now all the error frame counts have gone back to zero and so we've got a good network once again. So that's the health page. And the next page is the report. So this is really useful. If you want to uh, have a record of an installation, an MA 2000 installation that you've made, and you want to give the customer a report of, of how that uh, network is performing, you can go into here. It basically gives you a summary of the devices on the network and also the health uh, check. Uh, tests so um, you know we're getting all ticks down here because everything is is good you can put the name of the, the vote in here um, and the name of who did the test and uh, and then you've got the date and time as well of when the test was done and then you can print that straight to a printer or save it to a, a pdf um, file which you can then email to the customer as a and also put in your own records so that you've got a, a record of the NMEA 2000 network installation. So quite a useful feature that. And finally, we've got the settings menu. So this is where you can uh, set it up in access point mode. So this is where the nav doctor creates its own network. Or you can actually, if you're going to be using it in a workshop environment and you've already got a wireless network there, you can set it into station mode and make it join your existing wireless network in the, in the workshop. And then there's a few more bits of information about the firmware that it's running, free memory and things like that. And here is where you do the firmware update. So if we release a, a new version of the Nav Doctor, say we've added a new feature, new test, then you'll be able to update the firmware through the web interface. So that's it. I've, I've, I've taken that through at quite a pace, um, but hopefully you found that useful um, and you can see all of the benefits of our uh, new and unique Nav Doctor diagnostics tool. Thank you very much for watching.